Oregon now has two heart transplant programs. Providence just started the second program. Fox 12's Marilyn Deutsch reports from Southwest Portland. The heart transplants are performed here at Providence St. Vincent Medical Center. 63-year-old Thomas Hatch was the very first patient back in July. Providence gave us this video. Hatch went into the hospital on his birthday. He says getting a new heart is like being reborn. I'm not even sure I'd be here today, kind of listening to the doctors. It sounds like I was getting ready to check out. Dr. Kevin Kumal Singh is the surgical director of Providence St. Vincent's Heart Transplant Program. You could say he specializes in giving heart failure patients the gift of life. Meeting patients when they are extremely ill and are really in need of life-saving treatments and getting them to a better place and then getting them across the finish line with a heart transplant. Dr. Colesting said that the uh, when they put my new heart uh, in, um, my body and uh, new heart got along just perfectly. 71-year-old Les Wallace, still in the hospital, got his new heart just two weeks ago, thanks to Dr. Kumal Singh and also thanks to a donor. Les suffered for a decade with heart failure and was slipping away. When uh, when I found out I that they had found one for me, it was uh, a pretty big sigh of relief. You see that heart-shaped pillow there? Les is usually hugging it. It's been signed by healthcare workers in St. Vincent's ICU. Almost everybody signed it and wrote a little note and stuff, so it's, it's a special little thing. Providence decided to start the heart transplant program after OHSU's transplant program collapsed because of internal problems. And while OHSU has restarted its program, Providence still went ahead with its plans. They believe there are enough heart patients here in the Portland area, here in Oregon and Southwest Washington, for two heart transplant programs. In Southwest Portland, Marilyn Deutsch, Fox 12 Oregon. By the way, Providence St. Vincent Medical Center is renaming the West Pav Pavilion Wing of the hospital in honor of Phil and Penny Knight, who donated $75 million to the Providence Heart Institute.